Okay, I wanted to present this white heart again. I think I've done this one already, but it's got some mediastinal structures that I wanted to go over. So real quick review here. What we can see superior vena cava, right brachiocephalic vein, left brachiocephalic vein, right internal jugular vein, right subclavian vein, left internal jugular vein, left subclavian vein, right common carotid artery, right subclavian artery, left common carotid artery, left subclavian artery. Here's your brachiocephalic trunk where your right common carotid and right subclavian are branching off of. Here's your ascending aorta, aortic arch, brachiocephalic trunk, left common carotid, left subclavian, superior vena cava, pulmonary trunk. On the front of the heart, we can see left our right coronary coming out. And if we open this up a little, we can see our left coronary. Remember, left coronary is going to come out and branch into anterior interventricular artery. Continue around to the back as your circumflex. Great cardiac vein runs with that. On this side, our right coronary comes out, gives off right marginal, continues around to the back. Ah. As posterior interventricular, sorry about that, posterior interventricular artery here. This would be middle cardiac vein small cardiac vein, coronary sinus. Now if you look up here, you can also see the trachea. We're going to turn it around to the back. This is where it gets a little tricky. So here you can still see trachea. Trachea is coming down and branching into right primary bronchus and left primary bronchus, which you can see right there. This pink structure on the back of the trachea is the esophagus. These green structures are lymph nodes running up the back of the esophagus. On that, you can see your esophageal nerve plexus here in white. You have your left pulmonary artery, your right pulmonary artery, a zygous vein coming up from behind and dumping into superior vena cava. Here's your right superior pulmonary vein, right inferior pulmonary vein. Here's your inferior vena cava. This is left superior, left inferior pulmonary veins. Descending aorta. Notice off of the descending aorta you have these little red holes. These are those arteries that we saw on the torso over here. This guy, these are arteries right here. Notice they're cut off here, these little cut off ends. That's coming from the descending aorta. So if we look at this model, those arteries coming off the descending aorta are actually your posterior interventricular arteries. Now we can see vagus nerve on this heart as well, and you can see your ligamentum arteriosum. Here's your pulmonary trunk, aortic arch. This little connection here is your ligamentum arteriosum, right here. These white structures are vagus. So we can see the main part. I think this is the best view from this side peeking out right here. Vegas is going to come down, give off a branch that goes under the aortic arch on the left. That's called your left recurrent laryngeal and then vagus will continue back down the back of the heart and contribute to the esophageal nerve plexus. If we look at it on this side, can't really see right recurrent laryngeal very well, but you can see the vagus nerve right here on the right, coming down and giving rise to this esophageal nerve plexus. 
Okay, so make sure you look at this heart um, for other things besides just heart structures because there's a lot of other stuff on it. On this, I don't know if I've done this heart yet, so I just wanted to do a couple things on here. This, this guy right here. This nice heart with all these pieces. I just wanted to show you the mediastinal structures on here. First, of course, is the thymus. Easily recognizable right here. Here's your aortic arch. I'll show you your ligamentum arteriosum between your aortic arch and your pulmonary trunk here. You can also see the left vagus nerve on here, right here in yellow. Left vagus nerve comes down, gives off a branch which goes underneath the aortic arch. It's called left recurrent laryngeal. And then the rest of vagus is going to continue straight down behind the heart. On the back side of this, you can see left recurrent laryngeal here coming all the way up. So it curves all the way under and comes back up. You can also see the azygous vein here dumping into the superior vena cava on this heart. And here's your three nice branches, brachiocephalic artery, left common carotid artery, left subclavian artery.